Like a sort of extended family, the U.S. women's basketball team took a trip to the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio Thursday during their time off between practices. It's just beautiful and then not only just the statue but everything around it, being able to see all the views of Rio was awesome. And also like an extended family, they have a lot of history between them. No less than five of the all-time best of coach Gino Ariema's players from the University of Connecticut are on the team. Sue Bird, Diana Taurasi, Maya Moore, Tina Charles, and Brianna Stewart. You know, a lot of people give uh, the large UConn presence um, some flack, but for us it's, it's special and you know I think all the players are here for a reason, the coaches are here for a reason, and the fact that it's all kind of come together in this way, it's something that you want to enjoy every moment of and you know once it's over it'll probably never ever happen again. Ariema for his part is trying to enjoy the experience. When the team was first announced he had to defend the selection of so many of his former players. It's hard to argue with their success. Uh, there's something special about that group. So those people that you're talking about, they're not, they're not normal people. They're not regular basketball players, basketball coaches. Or, you know, they are, there's something different about them. And you have to be different to be part of this. Among the stars on the team is Diana Tarasi, who while playing at UConn, led the team to three national championships as a point guard and shooting guard. Brianna Stewart is Coach Ariema's most recent protege, leading the Huskies to four national championships where she played forward and was the number one draft pick by the Seattle Storm in 2016. And rounding out the team is WNBA's 2015 All-Star Elena Del Don, who plays for the Chicago Style. The U.S. women's team is expected to cruise to gold at the Olympics with their closest rival being Canada. The women's final is August 20th. Noreen Nasser, Associated Press.